Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to X777 equals love. Um, please like and subscribe. Push the thumbs up button. I sure appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Leave any comments. I'd love to talk to you about anything that you have any ideas about or disagreements with or hopefully agree with me. So I started the show a couple times or the tape, the video, and both times my puppy started having a fit, so I had to stop. But I was really interested in what I pulled, which was grounding. And um, uh, grounding. Okay, so we want to get grounded, and we want to talk about grounding today. Now, everybody knows that grounding is one of my favorite topics. Uh, you just want to put your feet on the floor. You want to close your eyes. And you want to see yourself connecting to the earth deep down inside. Um, if you can imagine electric or lightning running out of your feet and actually pushing it into the earth so that you can ground yourself into her energy and magnetism, it will help a lot. So we're going to do the three card spread as usual. The top represents the universe and what God would like to say to us. Over here is our divine male side. And over here is our feminine side. These are all our higher selves. Our higher self is, um, you know, our soul. You know, we're only, uh, we are a soul, spiritual soul, having a human experience. And the better we get connected to our soul and grounded to the earth, the better and more wondrous our experience will be. Okay, so the first card I'm going to draw is the universe. And it looks like a knight of swords is the energy. Synergy is hot, fiery, airy, air and earth. No, air and fire. So it doesn't last long. Looks like we got a kind of a lot of uh, hot energy going on out there in the universe. You might notice this by having a hot Maybe a little touchy temper, a little frustrated, um, maybe up in your head a lot. That's whereas grounding will help. You want to ground this fire and air energy into the earth uh, and, um, and temper it down. And it will help out a lot. I'm not sure about what's going on out in the uh, media area of life because I don't watch TV anymore and very proud of that. Um, so I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like there's fire and air and fire and air travel fast, but without wood for fuel uh, or fuel, it doesn't burn very long. So it looks like this might be a day or two. And whatever is going on will start to calm down. Of course, we're coming out of the full moon in Leo. So we got a lot of fire there. Water, moon, it represents the water, the tides, everything. So a lot of energy going on that maybe a lot of people don't understand. But when you bring fire and water together, you get steam. And steam creates, steam is energy. And so if you want to look at it in a metaphysical sense, spiritual sense, a lot of energy is going on out there. A lot of um, steam, let's say. Okay, let's look what's going on in Divine Mail. Looks like the Divine Mail is under judgment, making judgments, um, breaking out of the box. Look like, the, um, you know, the angel, the trumpet is blowed. There's change coming. And the Divine Mail is uh, working on that. Looks like he's jumped up. You see those mushrooms? That represents spirituality. It looks like a lot of men might be turning towards spirituality or your divine male. You know, we're both male and female. You know the difference between the female and the male because the female will receive and set and take what's going on. The male stands up and takes action. So if you're a woman that receives and sets and takes it, you're in your divine feminine. If you get up and move around and start working and taking action, you're in your divine male. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So it looks like the divine male has taken action. This is... Um, Gosh, who is that? I think that's Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. 
Uranus. <laughs> Uh, and the trumpet is blowing and everybody is celebrating because um, it's a new day, a new dawn, and a new way. So don't forget to do your grounding. And look at them. They're all grounded, too. They're coming up from the earth. They're coming up out of the ground. So ground. Judgment day. You need to ground. Let's see what's happening on our divine feminine side. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and know how beloved you are by the great power of the universe and the Mother Earth. And all these things that they give to look over you and your mind to think and your heart to feel and your body to drive and roll around on. So I hope you're very grateful for who you are and what you are and what you're going to be someday. Okay, the Divine Feminine looks like she might be hanging out, thinking, contemplating, making a plan, going over things that, you know, going over issues. Um, let me say, uh, generally when we're in hangman position, we've got something we're working on and we can't move forward yet. So whether it's... Uh, a relationship, a job, children, um, something that we haven't quite decided how to work on yet. And again, grounding. Grounding. Get grounded. Put your feet on the ground and watch your energy come from your brain down through your body. Watch that energy go through your legs. Imagine it. Imagine it if you can't see it, and then see it going into the earth like roots and grounding you solid. Any wind that comes along, your roots will hold you. And when I speak of wind, I talk of swords of the mind, things that are coming through your mind that are, you know, heartbreaking or scary or fearful or something that makes you uncomfortable, anxiety. These things will begin to settle down and they won't be so bad anymore if you ground yourself in the earth so that you know that you belong to her. You are on this planet at this time. It is good to ground yourself. Be solid. Be like a tree. Yeah. Okay, please like and subscribe, share, uh, leave any comments. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to do your grounding and... Um, I'm off. Bye-bye.